title of the video is Management of Early Stage Breast Cancer. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rohan Khandelwal and I'm a breast cancer surgeon and I head the Department of Breast Surgery at CK Birla Hospital in Gurgaon. All of you are aware that now breast cancer is the most common cancer amongst Indian women and with better diagnostic modalities we are picking up more and more breast cancer patients every year. One of the advantages of increased awareness and better diagnostic technologies has been that more patients are coming to us with early stage breast cancer. Now what exactly is the meaning of early stage breast cancer and to be specific in this video I am talking about stage 1 breast cancer. So stage 1 breast cancer is when the cancer is small in size and it is restricted to the breast only. It hasn't even travelled to the underarm lymph nodes. So it's just restricted to the breast. That is stage 1 breast cancer. In my previous videos I've told you that the diagnosis of breast cancer is made by a needle biopsy. So once a needle biopsy has been done and you have your pathology report and another thing is the ER, PR, HER2 new report also known as the IHC report which I've discussed in other videos as well. So once you have these reports you're going to meet your doctor and plan the further treatment. Some doctors might do staging investigations which can be in the form of CT scans, bone scans or sometimes PET scans as well. In majority of the stage 1 patients the treatment starts with surgery first. There is a small proportion of stage 1 patients where in certain instances we have to give chemotherapy but most of them are going to go with surgery first. Now when we talk about surgery for stage 1 breast cancer there are two main options which are there. One is known as breast conservation and the other one is mastectomy. Breast conservation is when we just remove the tumour, not the entire breast and we sample the underarm lymph nodes. Mastectomy involves the removal of the entire breast and we are going to sample the lymph nodes again. So if we talk about these two surgeries, you should remember one very important point. The overall survival, the end result is the same whether you do a breast conservation or a mastectomy. What is different is the risk of cancer coming back at that local site. So the area from where we remove the tumour, the risk of cancer coming back there in breast conservation is 3% whereas in mastectomy it is less than 1%. So there's a difference of 2% which is why all patients who undergo breast conservation will require radiotherapy. Whereas those who are undergoing mastectomy there will be a significant portion of patients where radiotherapy can be skipped. So that's the main difference between the two surgeries. Like I said, whether we do a breast conservation or a mastectomy, we will do a sentinel lymph node biopsy where we are going to sample the lymph nodes and your doctor will tell you that they inject a dye during surgery and with that dye they can map out these lymph nodes which they test during surgery. The reason behind doing this is that if the lymph nodes don't have cancer in them we don't need to unnecessarily remove them because by removing them the risk of arm swelling or lymphedema goes up which is why sentinel lymph node biopsy is done in early stage or stage 1 breast cancer. So once the oncologists get the final biopsy report after surgery that is when they determine further whether you're going to require chemotherapy or hormonal therapy which is in the form of pills. So this is the main outline of stage 1 breast cancer. If you still have any questions regarding this topic feel free to drop us a comment and I'll be happy to answer that. If you like the content don't forget to press the like button and to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.